Okay, uh, here's the result of this, the new airfoil shaped skimmer. Um, so a lot of people have said, you know, what happens to your skimmers when uh, you know, they slam into a wave? And um, so my, my response to that is, this is what the oncoming wave will see. And it is true that if the boat is bouncing up and down, uh, then this would go up and down like this as well. Um, but that's why I purposely designed the hulls of the wing moran to be very flat and uh, pitch neutral. So they don't pitch up and down as much as some other boats would. Um, so anyway, this is the, the support. This will be bolted onto a crossbar. Um, so this will be level. So what, what that means is the trailing edge is a positive four degrees, and then somewhere in the middle it transitions to steeper, which is good. So if an oncoming wave comes, um, it will climb up the wave because it's the same shape as a, a wave, basically. Uh, and if it does go under a really tall wave, the water will just rush over the top and it will be falling down. So because it's falling down at the speed of gravity, um, it's not really putting pressure on the top. So that means it's not gonna be pushing it down. Uh, and, and if it actually does make contact at the back, it's going down at this angle, which is a positive eight degrees. So that's even more lift. Um, all right, so let me show you. Um, It's, it's going to be skimming over the water, similar to what I just showed you there. Um, so the way skimming works is it's very inefficient until you re reach uh, approximately, approximately six miles an hour or seven miles an hour. And then it, it, it just becomes more and more efficient and it can take more and more weight as, you, as the speed increases. Um, because this is dynamic lift, dynamic lift basically means you're pressing, you're pushing water downward. And water does not like to be pressed downward because there's water under it and it doesn't have time to move out of the way the faster that you're going through the water. So the water literally gets harder, just like if you jump off of a diving board uh, at 10 meters and you hit the water, uh, the water is harder than if you just walk into a swimming pool. So, uh, so the lift will double if you uh, if you just increase the speed by 41%, which is the square root of two. So if you go from uh, eight knots to, I think it's, no, if you go, yeah, eight knots to 14 knots, the lift on the skimmer will double. And the rate at which the lift is, is going up on the skimmer is the same rate at which the boat is trying to heel you over but the skimmer has a four to one advantage because the density of water is like 800 times more dense than air. So that is why you're safe once you get to a speed of around seven miles an hour or maybe six, six or seven knots, uh, the skimmer will not go underwater. So the only time I've ever had a skimmer go underwater is when I'm going slow and then all of a sudden the wind hits the sail and the speed of the air going over the sail is really high, but the, the speed of the foil going through the water hasn't gotten high yet. Um, so in that case, you just, you just ease out the main sheet and then you pull it in slowly and then the boat accelerates. And then once you're, again, once the boat is traveling seven miles an hour or about seven knots, um, this will not go underwater anymore unless it hits a big wave and then it's just temporary.